that is an impressive 360 time lapse video, isn't it? This 360 time lapse video clip was captured by one of my best friends, who is the lead photographer of 360 Manywear. I will put his website down below. And today in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Holy Grail 360 time lapse photography. How I did it with the Kukam 8K. My name is Yu Chun Guo. A 360 photographer lover and specialize in one shot 360 photography. Let's get started. In this example, I have captured 400 DNG shot in time lapse mode on the Kukam 8K. The first step of the Holy Grail 360 time lapse photography is to smooth the sequence in LR time lapse. The LR time lapse is a must have software for the time lapse photographers and the free version could process up to 400 DNG shots. But once you uh, open the DNG sequence, the software will generate a preserved luminosity curve on the left. As you can see, the, the blue line. And you can see it has some juggling and uh, it's not that smooth. So that is the reason why we have to make transition by add keyframe. So click on keyframe wizard, add appropriate keyframes to your sequence. And how to select the keyframe, you can refer to the IR time lapse tutorial on the right. Uh, after you choose the, the keyframe, and you can save the information to the metadata by click on the Save button. And the IR time lapse will generate XMP files corresponding to every DNG shot. Click on Drag to Lightroom. You will select the image sequence with corresponding settings directly into the Lightroom. And uh, once you import all the images to the Lightroom, the Lightroom will recognize the keyframes because actually the keyframes is the photo with four stars tagging. And with filter, we can filter out the keyframes. And the next is some conventionally color correction in Lightroom, specifically on the keyframes. Here are some tips in the post-processing during the LR time-lapse and Lightroom. Do not you create a new gradient or paintbrush mask by yourself. Use the one that already exists in the photos. And you cannot synchronize with uh, the Lightroom synchronization. You got to synchronize all the settings with the script. As you can see on the top of the screen, there is a script. The LR time-lapse will automatically synchronize all the settings without damaging the time-lapse sequence. And uh, during the color correction, you can save, yes, click on the metadata, save the metadata. And it will save all the settings on the keyframes. And you reload in LR time-lapse, you will reload all the settings exactly in the Lightroom. And LR time-lapse will generate a smaller preview size based on your settings. And next up, you can click on Auto Transition and it will smooth the curve for you, you can see. And click on Vero Preview, the error time lapse will generate all the files with smaller preview JPEG for you. This will take some time. And after that, you can see the luminosity curve has been smoothed a lot. And after that, you can also click on the Vero Deflicker if you are still not satisfied with the result. And for in this situation, because it's a day-to-night holy grail time-lapse, I would rather choose to smooth heavily on the sequence so that you will get a buttery smooth luminosity curve, as you can see in the preview. And after that, you can save all the settings to every one of your DNG shot and bring back to Lightroom for the further export. Now back in Lightroom, in metadata, we read all the settings from the metadata and update all the photos inside Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. By export with the settings we create in LR time lapse, you will finally get the perfect image sequence without any flickering, with buttery smooth luminosity curve. Once you import the image sequence in another post process, such as Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. After a long period of time, finally we get a 408-bit JPEG file export with Lightroom. And in Adobe Premiere, you can 
add the image sequence at, by choosing one of the layers and click on the image sequence box. It will automatically import this image sequence as an 8K video in Premiere. So again, in Adobe Premiere, we are going to get the single lens fisheye video from the dual fisheye image sequence. You can create timelines and add image sequence with different settings and export as the H.264 with higher bit rate. And after this step, you will finally get two videos corresponding to the left and right of the fisheye on the Kugam 8K. So after export with the Adobe Media Encoder, we get the fisheye 01 and the fisheye 02, the two uh, single fisheye video. And after that, with FFmpeg, I wrote a program by myself, a batch processing command lines in the Windows 10, and uh, could combine the two fisheye videos into a single video, but with two different channels on the left and the right fisheye. So this is a very tricky part. If you want the program, I will share with you in the description. And before stitching, we need to know the stitching settings of the Kukam AK. You can extract the stitching parameters from a single DNG file. This is another program. And if you would like to, me to help, you can send me your DNG file and I, I will generate the stitching parameters for you. And after that, finally, we are ready to stitch. We have a video and we have the correspondent stitching parameters. Finally, we are in the last step. A drag and drop to correct a horizontal line because we don't have any stabilization data in the video clip. And choose 8K resolution with the highest bit rate of 200 megabit per second. And click on render button. After a short while, finally, we will get the highest quality 8K holy grail time-lapse video. In this example, actually, the CoolCam Studio is the best choice for us to stitch the 8K Holy Grail time-lapse video. Not only the CoolCam Studio is a free software, but it is officially developed by the candle and could uh, recognize the official stitching parameters inside the DNG. So if we could get the stitching parameters out of the DNG shot and with the CoolCam Studio, you will get the highest stitching quality and free of charge. So at this moment, it's a little bit tricky to create such high quality time-lapse video from the Kukam AK, but the Kendall developers constantly update the firmware and the software. So in the future, everybody could create such quality very easily with the latest firmware and the software. In the end of the video, I have more experience to share with you about the one-shot 360 photography, especially the 360 time-lapse photography. Why at this moment the Kukam AK might be the right choice of create high-quality one-shot 360 time-lapse? The reason is that compared with the one, although the Kukam AK has smaller sensor, but the capacity, the battery life is much better than the Z1. Of the Z1, you can only capture 300 and, uh, 360 DNG shot. And compared with the 1R, the Kukam AK has a relatively larger sensor. But most important of all is that for the other cameras, you have to use the Mystica VR or use the PTQ software, uh, which you have to pay for the extra money for these softwares. And the Kukam AK, you can use the, the Kukam Studio to make the stitch. With my help, with the program I have shown you in the video. So that's the reason why at this moment, this Canon Kukam AK really is the best choice for the one shot 360 high quality, especially if you want to shoot the holy grail time-lapse photography. That's all for today's video. If you like it, please thumb up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. But if you dislike it or you feel it boring, why still watching it till now?
right? See you next time. Bye.